Today I'll be making chicken chow mein. I have my chicken here cut in little cubes and marinated my chicken with salt for an hour. I have my chow mein noodle here, about a pound of chow mein noodle. My cabbage, green cabbage, carrots, one whole onion cut in big chunks and separated, three red chili, dried red chili, two tablespoon crushed ginger, four crushed garlic, and half cup olive oil. To make chicken chow mein, I have four cups of boiling water here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my noodles to my water and make sure it's well boiled. And then we're gonna come back to it. We're gonna give about three to four minutes. When you're boiling your noodles, make sure it's nicely separated. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt and olive oil to my noodle. So that's my just a little bit olive oil so it doesn't get sticky and it's just a sprinkle of salt that's it do a little mix here make sure it comes out perfect so we're gonna wait till it boils while I'm waiting for my noodles to boil so I'm gonna go ahead and work on my chicken so I have my skillet here I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil olive oil to my pan here get it ready Okay, it looks like my oil is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and add my ginger to my oil. Do a little mix. Wait till it turns just a light brown, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, my ginger is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken to my ginger. Do a good mix. I'm gonna fry my chicken for about 10 minutes uncovered. I'm gonna come back to it. Looks like my noodle is done. And to be sure your noodle is done, you can take a knife and just cut through it. If it does, that means your noodle is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain my noodles now. My chicken is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my chicken out. Chowmin requires a lot of frying. After I fried my chicken I made sure I drain all the oil out so I'm gonna go ahead and place it in a bowl here now I'm ready to fry my noodles I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of oil to my pan here then I'm gonna go ahead and place my noodles just a little bit at a time there goes my noodles and I spread it a little bit and wait for about a minute your noodle is already cooked because we boiled it. So what we're trying to do is just fry it a little bit. Make sure once you see it's coming out a little brown on one side, you can take it out. We just want to make sure it doesn't stick. That's why we're frying this. So if you notice here, one side of my noodle is coming out a little brownish. So I'm going to start taking this out here. I'm not going to overcook this, otherwise it's going to get dry. I took my noodles out. I place it with my chicken here. The reason we're frying this so make sure it stays separated. So I have my skillet again. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little oil to it, just a little drop there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add more noodles to it and do the same thing. Just fry it one side. Make sure you don't over fry it. Make sure it's separated, well separated. And repeat the whole thing. My noodles all done, so I'm ready to fry my carrots. I'm gonna just place a little bit of oil there. Get it ready. And place my carrots. You maybe give it two minutes to it. Not too long. Okay, my carrots nice and crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and add this to my noodles and my chicken. And I'm ready to fry my cabbage now. Place my pan again on my stove. Just add a little bit of oil to it. My vegetable is cut in little pieces here, my cabbage, so it's my oil's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and place my vegetables to my pan here. 
just fry for less than a minute. Do a little mix. On your vegetables, you can add about one teaspoon of water. So the steam is going to make it cook better and faster. My cabbage is done because you want to make sure it's nice and it's crispy. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my carrots. And now I'm ready to do my onions and my sauce mix. Alright, we ready to do our sauce mix. We have our 3 tablespoon hoisin sauce here, 2 tablespoon soy sauce, 2 teaspoon sesame oil, and we have 1 tablespoon oyster sauce. That's my oyster sauce, sesame oil, soy sauce, and my hoisin sauce there. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of garlic chili to it, mixed garlic chili. So now we're ready to do our mix. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of oil to my pan here. Add my garlic to my oil. Do a little mix. My garlic is ready. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions and my dry chili, red chili, to my garlic. Do a good mix. Now, your vegetable can be your own choice. Whatever you love. You can add broccoli, cabbage, whatever you want, your favorites. And your sauce mix can be a choice too. So now I'm going to just wait till it gets golden brown, then I'm going to add my sauce to that. My onions are coming out good, so I'm going to go ahead and add my sesame oil to my onions. Add my Brazilian sauce here. Oyster sauce. I'm going to put all the sauce together. Soy sauce. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my chili sauce to that too. Okay, my sauce is coming out really good, so I'm going to go ahead and add more soy sauce to it, make it a little juicy looking. And once it just gets done for a minute here, I'm going to add this all to my chicken and my noodles. Alright, I just did a little bit of noodle on my onion, so what I did, I spilled the whole thing back to my big bowl here. Make sure everything comes in here. And I'm going to do, mix all this together here. So I have my chicken, my carrots, my vegetables, all the sauce in here. I'm going to mix very well. Then I'm ready to serve. Chicken chow mein is so similar to vegetable chow mein. Everything is fried separately. I did fry my chicken with ginger. I made sure all the ginger taste gets in my chicken. Then I mix everything together. My sauce was made with onions. And if you look at it, it came out really good. You can see my noodles, my cabbage, and my carrots, dry chili. And my chicken came out really good. I did not add any salt to my chow mein because my sauce sauce had salt in there and I did membrane my chicken with salt but you can add salt later on depend on your taste and you also can add soy sauce to it very great delicious meal you can enjoy this anytime if I do a close-up you can see my crunchy vegetables and your vegetable can be of your choice and there you go and thank you very much for watching